little reprieve from the din outside. Back, evil ogre, or I'll get you with my sword! I'll spare you this time, beast, but don't cross me again! Ever! You're really fun! Hey, I'm gonna hide somewhere in the cave, and you come find me! Ready? Go! Again. Ready, go. Oh, wow, you're really smart. I bet. You know what? I bet my best friend would really, really, really like you. Come on. I'll introduce you. I know how to spell introduce. It's I-N-T-R-O-D-U-C-E. Hmm. My way is too small for you. You'll have to find another. Hope you brought a shovel. What's this? One must put in due effort if one is to reap the proper reward. <gasps> You're back! And you brought... But who's this? Wither, this is my new friend. He's really smart. You'll like him a lot. Please, small child, leave me to my ruminations. But he's really nice and tall. Maybe he can even help you with that thing. Why? A grown friend. You brought an adult here. Good, good gods. I got it. Good, sir. You've set my body free. Free to crumble to dust at last. But my spirit... Blast! I remain trapped in this mouldering skeleton yet. I have heard of such magic, but have never known anyone so foul as to employ it. Bracchus Rex. May maggots lace his entrails. After he interred me in this cell, he must have drawn my very soul away from me and stored it elsewhere in the fort. Thus, he has bound me entirely to the mundane realm. But I know this place well. I could lead you to its likely location. In turn, you would find a path straight out of this fort. My freedom for yours. Marvelous, my friend. Marvelous. You'll first have to get inside the fort itself. There's a secret switch on a statue of the Seven in the courtyard. Surely you know it. The switch will open a hatch, and you'll be led into the prison's main floor. I suspect that within Bracchus's phylactery room, you will find the container which ensnares my soul. He has likely disguised it well, but search there for another hidden switch. Bracchus would have made me a supplicant, a slave to these walls. With your help, I'll die, at last, with dignity. The shrine depicts Lucy and the Divine, avatar of the seven gods. You hear a strange sound, like rusted hinges creaking and air rushing through a tunnel. A hatch appears behind the shrine. My word, he has spoken. Lucian has spoken. The
why you're here, isn't it? It... it isn't... right. All right, Del. Isn't right to save the entire realm from divine, damned chaos. <laughs> Please. Good fight. Gods know how much blood you have on your hands now. You can't let them go. This is our only hope against the Void Monk. I need to put you to my hands. Smell. Oh, I, I think I'm going to be sick. Those were so many years ago now. I can hardly remember the smell. Hmm. Who are you? Who are you, you pretty little salamander? He runs a finger down your neck. Ah, so supple. I do love the feel of lizard skin, so cool and pleasant upon one's own. Please, come in. Oh, do make yourself at home, won't you? Well, Sugar, now that you should mention it, I do, I do smell something quite delicious on you. Almost smells like a magister I once knew. One I never could convince to visit me here. Atusa by name. Whatever it is, Puppet, give it over, hmm? Now. He squeals in delight. Bless you, Puppet. Oh, bless you. That, of course, was so many years ago now. I can hardly remember the smell of his skin anymore. The cat purrs loudly as it curls itself around your ankles. Looks like you've got yourself a new pet. <laughs> 